Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to the shop. And finally, the reed parts are available. So let's actually take a look at uh, what the final product looks like. First off, I have to say, these are not necessary parts. They are parts that are nice, but you don't need them. With a standard Stanley Bailey plane, you can tune this to do anything you want it to do. It takes a little bit of work, but you can really tune this in and make it do amazing things. The difference between this and a high-end plane is the fit and finish and the uh, fine-tune adjustability. A nice high-end plane will allow you to do things a little bit easier. They feel better. There's less slop in the pieces. And a standard Stanley plane has a decent amount of slop. It doesn't feel amazing and it takes a little bit more work to get those. These parts fix that. The first common problem and complaint is that there is a lot of slop. You can wind this in and out for a long time before this engages to go up or down. And that really annoys a lot of people. Now, for me, I've gotten used to it and I don't think about it anymore. And for someone who uses these a lot, that's probably not something that you really think about. But for the average casual user, that feels annoying. Number two, if you get a modern thick iron, sometimes this won't stick through far enough to engage with the chip breaker. And you'll have problems that yeah, you just can't quite move this up and down because the yoke isn't long enough. Reed Plane Parts, however, has fixed that with a very simple yoke idea. He's also providing it in two different types for the people who want a little less work and people who want to make it exactly fit their plane. This is the file to fit yoke. It's a bit large in all of its aspects and it doesn't have the hole for the pin to go through it. What that means is number one, you can file it to fit your adjuster. It becomes just a little bit too large. It can't quite fit in there. It needs a little bit of work to fit the adjuster, especially if you have an old adjuster that's worn out a bit. There is some slop in between the yoke and the adjuster. You can remove that by filing this exactly to fit your adjuster. Number two, there is no pinhole. You can see on this one, the standard Stanley have a lot of slop on that pin. It, the, the hole is not very tight. So with this one, you can actually drill the hole exactly. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I just scared a lot of people there. Um, the idea of drilling a hole that is the perfect location on this and it's perfectly square really scares a lot of people. But I have to say, it is incredibly easy to do, and you can do it with a bitten brace on your bench. Uh, the nice thing is the frog actually provides a guide that will help you, and you can actually drill the exact hole you need very easily. And I'll have a whole video on showing how to do that, but uh, for right now, just trust me, it's very easy to drill the holes. Number three, there's often a lot of slop between the yoke and the chip breaker and things will wobble around in there. This has been made larger both in length so it will stick through a thicker iron and in size so that you can actually file this to fit the size of the slot on your chip breaker because some chip breakers have different size holes. You can file this to match that exactly as well as you can file it down flat to match the thickness of your iron so that you can make this fit exactly in every aspect from the adjuster nut all the way to the chip breaker, you can eliminate almost all the slop out of this and get a really, really nice tight feeling knob. The second yoke does much the same. It's still a little large to fit into that. It's still long, so you can file it off to fit a thicker plate, uh, but it's a little bit thinner here. So if you want to expand it to fit your nut, you can do that. This split in here allows you to drive the screw in there to expand it to fit the slot and get rid of the slop that way. And then you can cut this off and file it down and get a nice slight clean fit. Also, it comes with a cast hole in here that's a little bit smaller than it needs to be, uh, so you can actually ream it out to match your pin, but the hole is there so you know you're getting a nice straight line uh, because it's already in place to guide you. You don't have to drill your own hole. Next up, we have a depth adjuster nut and stud. With a standard Stanley, a little bit of movement on this is actually a lot of movement in the yoke. This has fine threads, so one full rotation on this is only equal to one half of a rotation on this. So you get twice the amount of accuracy in this. So if you're really getting tired with trying to dial it in to get that beautiful, clean, fine shaving, this will give you a little bit more accuracy so you can dial it in a little bit easier. I know some people that really annoys them, and so a finer thread on here will make that a little easier. Plus the stud comes with a slot, making it easier to move in and out. 
On the nose here, it has the standard coarse thread that will fit into the regular Stanley bodies. And then behind it has all the fine threads that it runs on. Number two, and probably the most impressive thing to me, is the knurling on this. I, I know that sounds a little stupid, uh, but this feels good. It has a very premium tactile feel. The standard Stanleys, th there isn't a whole lot of friction on here. They're just... They're, they're kind of slippy and annoying, and the one finger thing, if it's tight, that one finger movement can be hard. With this one, the one finger movement is very, very easy. There's a lot of friction on there. On top of that, these are also a little bit larger diameter than the standard Stanley. And so because of that, you have a little bit more leverage, making it a little easier to use. There's still a circular format, so you still get that normal feel. You can grab it anywhere rather than having posts that stick out. It's a very, very comfortable feel, and it comes with reed etched on the inside. That then brings us on to these. These are frog wedges. What happens is, with a standard Stanley plane at 45 degrees, it will do 99.9% .9 of the work perfectly. But every now and then you come across some weird grain that starts to chip out and it's really, really annoying. It'd be nice if you could raise that frog just a little bit higher. You can buy replacement frogs, but man, those things are expensive. That's where these come in. These will allow you to move a standard frog up to 50 degrees or 55 degrees, or actually a little bit more depending upon how far you push the frog in and out. This is the 50 degree wedge, and it's very, very simple. It slides in there, and then you can take the screws out of the frog, and you can generally use the old screws, but sometimes they're not quite long enough. So Reed also provides these screws, which are more than long enough. So you can actually file or cut these down to fit your size exactly, because many of the Stanleys have different sizes in there. So having a longer one that you can adjust to fit yours perfectly is what these do. Also, they are a crazy weird threading, which Stanley is well known for using. Um, so all of these had to be individually turned. So they are, they're very, very nice, very, very high quality, and they're absolutely beautiful screws. Then we have the 55 degree wedge. Now the problem with this is it's a bit thick. It's a decent amount of material, and so the screws won't reach all the way through. And also the alignment for the screws would be in the wrong place. So with this, you can actually take the frog out and you put two screws down through this and lock this into the bed. And so this becomes the new bed that the frog will sit on. Then you can take these screws and run them down to actually attach the frog down to this plate. And so this will give you the adjustability to put a little bit higher angle onto up to a 55, which is a really, really high angle plane. So if you're having a lot of problem with tear out, this might be the answer for you. So these are the initial products that is coming out and he has a few other ideas for other things, but these really are the big things. They get rid of the slop, they allow you to use a thicker plane, they give you a finer adjustment, they allow you to change the frog angle. They really take a standard Stanley that will do the work and they make it feel premium. These are just the next step up and ooh, I wanna make it feel good. I also have to say, uh, these are first run products. We've done a lot of beta testing and we've had some other people out give us feedback on them. Uh, these are the types of things that we will probably be changing a few things in the future and we'd love to hear your feedback. So if you have any problem with these, please let us know. Uh, we will make it right and either get you a new one or a better one, um, or we'll show you how to fix it and make it fit your plane exactly. Uh, these are all intended to take a little bit of work to get them to fit in because so many Stanley planes are wildly different that uh, you really have to make the parts fit your particular plane because this one is different from this one, which is different from that one. And even in a single type size, you're gonna find wildly different depths and sizes. So yeah, you're gonna need to do a little fitting if you want to get all that slop out and get that really premium feel. Also, the other thing I'm gonna hear a lot of is, can I see them working? Uh, yes, I'm gonna have videos coming out in this next week where I'm actually gonna go through all of the installation on them because there are a few things you'll wanna know when install installing them, um, and I'll have videos on showing them how to work, so stay tuned for that. Um, if they are out, I'll leave links to them in the description, um, but they will be coming out on the channel very soon. So we'll be actually showing how to detail and do all the setups and get that perfect fit off of your item. And if you want it one step more, we also have instructions that are available where you can print off PDFs going through all of this with pictures, showing you all the steps needed to make these fit exactly into your plane. And there's links to that down in the description below. So with all that being said, I do wanna say a huge thank you to Reed for putting these together. 
Um, Jeff, you have well outdone yourself. These are gorgeous, gorgeous pieces of work, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting them out to everyone. If you do have any questions, thoughts, concerns, ideas, let me know those down in the comments down below. If you would like to help out the channel, you can also hit like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those things really help out, and they keep us in front of other people, so thank you. Honestly, that is the best free way you can help out. If you'd like to help out the channel monetarily, you can do that on Patreon, everyone scrolling over to the side, or you could buy products off the website or become a member here on YouTube. There's lots of ways you can help keep the lights on in this channel, and thank you to everyone who is doing that. Uh, without you, this channel wouldn't exist. So thank you to everyone who is helping out buying things on the website or Patreon or becoming a member. Thank you. I really can't say it enough, but thank you. <laughs> so on that note, I think that'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Read my lips. These are a lot of fun to play with.